Hey, Dad, how do I know I'm a good person? Whew, wow. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, whew, jeez. Yeah, well, yeah, you're seven now, and uh, I guess we gotta cover this sooner than later. You have to do the right thing. You, you do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. Not because you're gonna get punished or because you're gonna win an award, but because it's the right thing to do. Oh, okay. Even people from Chester. <laughs> yeah. What? No, fuck Chester. What the hell are you talking about? Have you been listening to a goddamn thing that I'm talking about? I'm sorry, Dad. Go walk home and think about how stupid you are. <laughs> But dad, that's like five miles. Well, you should have thought about that before you said something stupid, shouldn't you? I'm so disappointed in you! Obviously, you just saw a great heartwarming... Wait, what, what are they called? Those, like, PSAs? What's another name for a PSA? Public service announcement? Okay, yes. Okay, we'll just say PSA. So you just saw that wonderful PSA. So remember, when being a parent out there in the world, do your job and raise your kids right. So... <laughs> That's a, hopefully. If you, need a, if you need a reminder to be a good parent, pay attention yeah. to our public and, service and announcement. <laughs> I assume you were inspired by that public service announcement. Mm hmm. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. You. you <laughs> I was SJ, like, you forgot to tell me what it is. <laughs> SJ has seen it. She knows what it is. So she's agreeing wholehearted to whatever it was. She's co signed it. It's good to go. Well, everybody that is here for the first time, what we do is look from a beginner standpoint. We look at Wrexham. We look at the team, the players from a beginner's a 101 perspective because that's all we can do. We are both huge supporters of both teams, the men and the women women's side. And we like to dive a little bit deeper than just the surface level, maybe the, the highlights and the article headlines and go into a little bit more than maybe what all these seasoned vets out there know. Uh, everybody else that's tuning in that's been here before, you know what you're in for. We'll do a little crest and badge. We'll do some player profile and all that nature goodness. But without further ado, this is Teach Me How to Wrexham. Like how hungover were you that day? Was no. it the... <laughs> I, I, I did very much learn from my mistakes. Those were great. Oh, there we are. Just had a thank you very hey. much, ma'am. There you go. So uh, I've had some donuts delivered from my mum. Thank you very much for that. I don't get very bullish. I'm not gonna do a we're gonna stop five nil. Yeah. I don't, I don't. No, don't listen. Or, or, or do, because we could do with the extra views and um, I'll tell you why exactly you are a horrible little vermin. Hey, this is Robbo. I'm Robbo Jr. And make sure you tune in this week. It's a good one. Don't miss it. Well, SJ, it's another week is how I assume time works. And yeah, I I have uh, spent that week in learning how to say the name Pantaprith. I hope yeah. I said it correctly. Uh, shout out to Emma Griffiths. You are oh, my yeah. Welsh warrior, my <laughs> spirit animal of pronunciation. I hope I have honored you and done you proud. And if I haven't, the person that taught me how to say it was Mark Griffiths. So <laughs> let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> well, before Funny. I jump into some Pontiprith uh, knowledge and information, I'd really want to know some more about TJ Dickens. I did my best of not going in depth into the research on any personal level so that I can get all this information fresh and anew with my bright eye and bushy tail. So, <laughs> SJ... What do we need to know about T.J. Dickens? She's amazing. <laughs> yeah. I will sure, slow clap so into the ever. end. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, she is amazing. So that's true. Yeah. Amazing free yeah. kicker. Yeah. It's funny because it's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, ho hold on a second. Oh, you've been overcome by the emotions. I see again. <laughs> She's just well, so amazing. No, my, my eye was itchy. And seen. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Tonisha Jade Dickens. Uh, TJ Dickens. Hold on a second. That's her name? Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Holy. I hope I'm saying that right. T O N I S H A. Tony okay. Jade. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. That's a cool name. Yeah. First on the trivia list. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, Tony Jade or TJ Dickens, as we all know and love her, uh, is 26. Welsh. She is our number 10 a midfielder. Um, and so there, I ran into an obstacle doing a very a thorough profile on her because I can't find any information on where she played or trained or grew up before 2019. So she is like, you know, five years old. <laughs> uh, I just can't find any, I can't find any history on it. And when I would Google, it would give you that little, um, like, this is what is in this article. And it would say she played at or in the under something of the, Oh, that's what I want. And I would click on it. And I, there was just nothing. So Dang, unfortunately, so you're saying she's in, she's in witness protection. Have yes. we just outed her? We just uh -oh. outed Tonisha Jade. Uh, uh Oh, did we do Maybe. it? <laughs> well, uh, surprise world. I have disappointed yet another person in this world. And, <laughs> and I don't like the streak that I've started. Well, well maybe we could do this. Um, she murders TJ, on the pitch. That's why she's wow. in restrictions yes. protection. <laughs> okay. I was scared where that was going, but it ended out okay. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll do this shameless ask out there. Uh, TJ, if you happen to watch this or anybody that knows TJ happens to watch this, Maybe you could reach out, uh, reach out to SJ, reach out to me, reach out to the pod or whatever, and maybe just clear up a couple of questions and things so that we can fill in some of those blanks and then do a proper justice to your profile uh, because we are huge fans and the internet needs accurate information. Yeah. I'm sorry. Or and we resume accessible. regular programming. Yes. Yeah. Uh, at least something. Yeah. 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 Um, and, you know, a uh, great place to put that, even if there doesn't, it doesn't have to be like written out. If people just want to pop links to other, like, I found this article, you don't even have to mm. summarize it. Just mm -hmm. pop the link in the comment on uh, Twitter or in the YouTube channel. Um, like, as always, I love a lot of sources. So uh, lay it on me. Yeah. Uh, and uh, if we get some good info, I can do an update on her player profile. Ooh, breaking so, news. This yeah. just in. <laughs> <laughs> her name isn't um, Anisha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Thomas Jackson. I am, no. <laughs> I am I am the worst today. I am absolutely <laughs> stepping over your toes. Oh That's my goodness. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it's okay. I forgive you. Just this once. No. <laughs> okay. So uh, with a giant gap in the first like 20 years of her life, uh, moving into 2019, 2020 um, is the first uh, place that I could find information that she played is Connor's Quay. Is it Connor's Key? Connor's Key. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 2019, 2020 season and the 2020, 21 season, she played for them. Um, and then she moved into Wrexham 2021, 22, um, is when she first signed for us. And that season she had four goals and five assists. Um, and she was in the, uh, she was for the, sorry, starting up. For the 2021-22 season with Wrexham, she was voted the Women's Players Player of the Year. So, a Players uh, Player? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You tell so, me girls' is players too? Oh, well, what you're I mean, yeah. Dang. Uh, <laughs> um, and then uh, that was for the Gennaro Adran North. Um, she was also in Team of the Week uh, um, for... November 14th, she had a goal uh, in the 16th minute of the match that week and two assists. Um, and the, um, oh, it was, uh, the match was against Airbus UK. Uh, okay. And yeah. it was Wrexham 9 uh, versus them none. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, one, one, nine to one. One, ooh. But, uh, 
still. Yeah. So pretty brutal. So of those nine goals, she had one goal and two assists on that. So she made it the team of the week. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was good. Yeah. And then uh, moving into 2022-23 for the Adra North, um, that was the season that we got promotion into the Adra Premier. Um, yes. Uh, if she was here, I would pat her on the back, but <laughs> I'll take one for it. Um, so uh, that year, 2022-23, she was in the Adrian North team of the season, uh, along with Del Morgan, uh, Lightfoot, and Hughes. Um, so there's four out of the 11 of the team of the season were Wrexham women. She's pretty cool. Um, and that season, she had four goals, eight assists. So, you know, definitely doing her yeah. part to, for promotion. And then this year, 2023-24, um, she was one of the first 10 that were signed for the semi-pro contracts um, after uh, Wrexham's application was approved and, uh, you know, going into the Adron premiere. Um, so far this season, she doesn't have any goals yet, but she has eight assists. So, you know, she's definitely, yes. yeah, yeah, doing her part to help out again um and then the interesting thing was for discipline now i have to go through the only place i found it is the cumry app and i have to go through each match individually and count them and i did that for all the matches i saw she was in and i didn't see any yellows or reds so she is a golden angel of for discipline apparently Again, if anybody According knows that SJ. that's complete, yeah. yeah. If anybody knows that's completely incorrect, please tell me. Uh, I need a reliable source for statistics on the women's team. Let me know. I need it. Um, Maybe I gotta but, hit up, uh, uh, or we gotta hit up Colin, the analyst, and um, get get Rexham? some of the data from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the he's the analyst that they they hired on when they did the semi professional. They also hired on some staff that were volunteer before and then oh, okay. uh he was one of the ones specifically for the women yeah gotcha yeah i uh shared that with me and i will hit him up i need it uh, i was like i don't, I don't know, know him about the women. <laughs> <laughs> well no but if you know of him you can you can share who he is because yeah. i don't know of him <laughs> on our next team call oh. <laughs> <laughs> roll it x wait get the <laughs> yeah yeah huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, and that is a callback to our previous episode where we joked about having an index card of all the players' information and that a Rolodex is a knockoff of a Rolex. So, yeah. That other episode. And There'll be two people so. that got that, and it was us. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, anyways, so uh, for TJ Dickens' discipline, I couldn't find any cards on her for any match that I could find that she played in. Yes. Uh, and so, um, and yeah, that was as far back as 2019, 2020, um, which is interesting because her style of play has been described as gritty, combative, and uh, that she has decisive attacks. So, okay. yeah, so... I thought that was an interesting, I don't know, combo uh, that I was expecting to find some cards. Usually if somebody's, you know, combative, they're they're getting cards or she just knows that that great, you know, attack hey. that. Yeah, she gets all the gets away with everything. Um, that's, a, that's a technical skill, you know, to be able to not get the cards, but also be able to make the challenges that speaks yeah to the precision of the expert sharpshooter sniper like ability of TJ Jenkins. Ninja. I screwed it. I almost made it all the way through without screwing up and I screwed up. <sighs> Was it my there ninja insert that that distracted you? It would have helped. It wouldn't have been a it would have covered up my mistake if I yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry, back to yeah. That's okay. Uh, and then I would say um, her most, probably what she's, uh, not what she's the most known for in Wrexham and people who follow the Wrexham women and, you know, know more about football than me, who's brand new. But um, I think what 
internationally maybe she's the most known for is her free kick screamer at the race course when the women played there uh, in the six minute. Um, it was from deep outside the box. I wrote this part down. Uh, it was deep outside the box in front of the Rexham Lager stand. And it was in front of 9,511 fans. Yeah. So that's, uh, uh, th th those numbers stack up to me to, uh, that being something she's the most known for because nine over 9,000 people know about it. Um, yeah, that's a lot of eyeballs, like at yeah. least 18,000 18, <laughs> and maths. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so I'm sorry not, today. I'm not. All I had was a bowl of Captain Crunch cereal. And <laughs> this is what you're getting. And I apologize. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> um, and then uh, this was also against her um, team, her old team, which is Kana Key. Oh, Akana was I Key. supposed to say it? Yeah. So it's pointing at you. OK, let's do it. Wait, let's do it again. Let's do it again. OK. Uh, and then that goal was uh, in the match that was against her former team. Kana's key. Oh. Yes. Kana's key. Kana's key. OK. Yes. Yeah. I think I screwed up because there's like I put an apostrophe like it's Kana. Ooh. E. I don't know. Uh, it's probably screwing up. But uh, Rosie Hughes got her the second goal of that match. That was in the 83rd minute. And that's really what cemented it in. And if I remember right, um, her goal was like she, you know, uh, snaked the ball, a ball off somebody around the half way line and just dodged players all the way up, you know, got around the keeper and just was, you know, the only person in front of the goal for miles uh, and then, you know, slotted it in. So that was pretty cool. It was pretty Beautiful. cool. It's like cemented yeah. in my memory. Um, yeah. So uh, that is like the technical stuff I have for her. But I have some fun bits about her as well. Ooh, um, nice. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay, so um, the Knotts, uh, Knotts County match for the men's, the okay. program, the match day program for them, um, she had a little in interview in there, uh, and it was talking about um, possible promotion. And uh, she said, looking forward to hopefully get that opportunity again, having played in the Welsh premiere previously with... Kyle, key. no, oh, R H Y L. That oh, yeah, real. So yeah, um, and uh, she said, knowing how much tougher the league is, it'll only make me a better, make me better as a player. Um, so uh, I like that outlook. Um, of you know, saying like, yeah, we want that challenge to play teams that are higher level. You don't know what you can achieve until you, you know come up against that challenge. So, um, Respect. and then, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And then, uh, recently, um, well, this is like a month or two old now. Mark Griffiths, um, did an article in the leader, the Wrexham leader. It's like the no local Wrexham paper. Um, and that he talked about, um, if there was a, what the benefits would be if there were more than eight teams in the Adran premiere, mm. because there's, with having eight teams, the you can play those same eight teams as much as you want, but a certain level, you you just you've maxed out maybe the benefit of just playing all those teams over and over. Whereas you have more teams, it rounds out the competition. Um, that's my opinion. He yeah, said yeah. Um, that uh, he supported having uh, more than eight teams, and the benefits he saw um, were. Uh, making it more competitive in the developing players. Uh, and then it would also add to um, women, the uh, Welsh women being able to possibly compete and be um, uh, for the women to, to com be. Sorry. It would also contribute to the possibility of more women competing in the Welsh international team for like the Welsh uh, world um team in the world cup and stuff. And until you get that like level of challenge consistency, 
consistently as we see with um, Cardiff City and Swansea, like if they're getting to the cream of the crop, like who are they getting challenged by? Well, you get into, you know, the international team and then you're playing players of an international level and challenging yourself and, you know, learning um, and developing more. I feel like I'm talking in circles. But anyways, uh, the little statistic here was that um, three matches in one day in the beginning of this current women's season, um, three matches collectively, the score was 43 goals to nothing. What Swansea played, the team they played, they won. Um, and Cardiff City played, they won. And then Wrexham, the match they played, they won. And if you add up all three of those matches, 43 goals to nothing. Like, wow. Yeah. So it, I, it lends to that um, inequality of maybe access to resources and stuff. But if I don't know. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I Yeah, world peace. <laughs> yes, through women's football. <laughs> yeah, you, so, it, but basically there's there's a divide that exists yeah. between the upper part of the talent pool and the lower part of the talent pool. And yeah. you need more competitiveness to raise the overall game. Yes, yes. I you just used AI to so summarize that. small fish before you empty the pond and need oh. more fish. Wow. Is that like a, is that a saying? Is that a thing? It, like an old I, proverb I or something? No. Okay. It's me, right. me making something up to, <laughs> to try to make sense of that, that mushy mush that came out of, <laughs> of what I was trying to say. Oh, so. You can only eat so many small fish before you run out of the pond. Is that right? Uh, I would say Either you can, I don't remember. It's a good thing we have editing and you can say, and I can say, yes, it is. And you can just play back the same thing I said. Mm, that's deep. Yes. That is deep. Wow. Yeah. So anywho, she's amazing. Uh, she's com very competitive. Uh, she, you know, has a hunger as a lot of the women do and a lot of players do to perform and be competitive at the highest level that she can be. Um, and, you know, the more uh, players that you play against, the more that you can find out more about your playing style. We've seen with the women bringing in the conditioning coach that um, how much that's helped them improve. Um, and so um it's just cool that, you know, the women in general have that in mind. Like, we want to improve. We want to increase, you know, our talent. And I don't know. Can you hear that? Yeah. My throat is croaking. No, not at all. Okay. It's probably from the pond. It is. It's pond water. <laughs> Bless you, whoever is oh, this many minutes into it right now. And I was like, you know what I really wanted to know? I wanted to know something about TJ Dickens. But could you tell yes, me very quickly? Because <laughs> I have other things to do. No, no, no. Not today, fine madame or sir. Not today. You're on our time. Yep. I mean, what else are you going to do? <laughs> have a good Don't time. Don't answer that. Just yeah, keep yeah. watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. TJ Dickens, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she, yes. Heck of a player. Uh yeah. so so I learned these things. Wait, is there more before I recap what I've learned? Uh that's all the bits I have on her. Um just uh, you know, uh the gaps I um have is uh I don't have any information before 2019, so I'm missing that chunk. So hopefully I can get that and maybe include it in a future um episode but yeah that's that's what i got okay so th thank you so much that was amazing as always we get to learn so much with tj dickens there is that gap so hopefully we can fill that in at some point in time i understand that she is an amazing player she's an assist machine she has so many assists she might be the girl boss because she's got all those assists <laughs> <laughs> uh, underneath her, um, they, they're not all going to land, but, um, <laughs> and and all of them that didn't land have been today. So yes, uh, so she she got uh, team of the week, player mm -hmm. of the month as well, players, and player, player of the season, of the year players, player. Shout out to Snoop Dogg and the players ball. Uh, she got <laughs> players, player of the season, and then 
she was born, things happened, went into a factory. She was created with artificial intelligence. When she reemerged in 2019, she was the assist machine that we know today. Um, she is a biomech. Half of her is cyborg. And it's not fair to the other people that are out on the field because they are playing against a literal machine. And you know what? Yeah. We're all for Keep- fairness and equality. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. In a serious note, I would like to know what happened before because you mentioned real. So obviously she played at real at some point in time in between that gap where we don't know. So yeah. that would be absolutely amazing to find out. Anybody that knows anything, like SJ said, throw them inside the comment section, hit us up on Twitter or, or on X. And if TJ or TJ's people, anybody that knows her, um, wants to reach out and answer some questions that we can build out the full, complete, unabridged biography, then definitely do so so that we can know that information and then also give that to other people out there and it exists. So next time there's an SJ out there that is doing her search, <laughs> she can click on links that actually go somewhere and actually yeah. give you information. <laughs> but yes. Yeah. Yes. And just, you know, doing a player profile justice, like she she has her, she's got so many accolades that I could find, but it was frustrating not to have like the details and the richness um, behind that. So yeah, bring, bring it. Give me info. Yes. I love it. Yes. Yeah. We're cookie monster with the info. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah well um pontapreeth shall we united united i'm sorry yes yeah hold on um, i i got it i got it okay i'll too <laughs> get the little the little water off the <laughs> i'm running dry <laughs> yeah it's that night so pontapreeth if we will. Pre United. Yeah, the United. So this uh, club was a culmination of two different teams, Panta Prit, and also, I'm not going to say this right. I didn't get any help with it, but uh, NS Bull FC uh, came together in 1991 and created the United that we know today. The breakdown of the name is, if if you're American and watching this or non-Welsh, then you probably notice this is not a compound word. But if you're Welsh, you notice it is a compound word. And you have the name deriving from the names Pont, uh, uh, Ta, Preet. And that broken down is bridge by the earthen house. So Pont, <laughs> meaning bridge, uh, okay. meaning the, uh, Ta, meaning house. And prit meaning earth or earthen. So that's the okay. breakdown, the combination of what we know it today. I, I I love those compound words. And when they become their own word and their own statement, yeah. it, it, it's great. If you know the area, then you probably know about the bridge. It's famous landmark, the bridge over the water that describes the area within the name. <laughs> and it, it has a distinctive look to it. It's a stone bridge. We'll put it, we'll throw it on, but it has that nice, nice curve. And uh, I believe that it was some guy Williams in 1776, something like Wasn't that. Uh, a conqueror? William, William the conqueror. conqueror. <laughs> no, it was some, somebody <laughs> Williams. Know. And and he okay. he was a renowned architecture and he designed <laughs> that specific bridge. And so it's been standing since the 1700s till now. Um, It's still out there. You can go. There's some really nice pictures and photos of it that look like that golden hour with good reflection on the water. And as you would imagine, as you would imagine, that bridge is also shown within their badge. So we'll move gently over into the Creston badge. Creston badge, Creston badge. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the bridge, it's on there. 1992, there's a red dragon and the Pontypridd United. The You might just see that wave on the badge and just think like, oh, that's just a, you know, off color Pepsi branding, you know, new Pepsi <laughs> logo. But it's not. It's the nod to the bridge. And so it's something where next time I'm over in Wales, I'm definitely going to have to go there and visit the the bridge, it looks so very picturesque. And is it close that, to Wrexham? Uh, Pontypridd. It's um, yeah. yeah, it's 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 like the second closest kind of. The, this is on the um, that southern. What what is it called? The Swansea Sea. 
Is that what it's called? Correct me. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So let me <laughs> let me look up the exact location because I think it's. I'm going to cut all of this if I'm wrong, but I think it's okay. like right above Newport. But let me let me. Uh, oh, okay. I like the little. Okay. So the um, Pepsi ripoff thing you're talking about on the badge where it has the little swoop. Um, I like the little dots in it, which I seem very simple, but um, it uh, it does lend more to like you know because sometimes badges uh they're like this one color means this and i'm like sure sure you can say blue means sky um but like the it i don't know it rounds out it gives me an impression of what the bridge looks like more and it makes yeah. it kind of draws me into like curiosity more than i think if um if it was just a wavy line oh uh there is a really cool i uh maybe this variation or older um badge that has little footballs in the dots and so mm. um mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah so it, it's got a, a dragon going up the bridge from each side and then it's got footballs for the dots that's pretty cool yeah and, and so those dots or those holes are actually negative space within the bridge and that's what one of Williams, I, I wouldn't really say trademarks because it wasn't trademark, but one of his signature things is he created negative space in these stone bridges. Okay. And so those are actually holes that go through. So those exist on the actual structure. And it was something that like people really weren't doing, not only creating that arch, but creating within the stonework a negative space. And so each side does have three on other side. And I was incorrect. It, it's just north of Cardiff. So that okay. would be west of Newport. Uh, I was wrong. I'll still keep it in because I was close enough and I don't mind being wrong. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just, just north of uh, Cardiff. So I would say it would be kind of, is it closer to Wrexham than Newport? Hmm. Maybe not. By the road, as a crow flies, it may be, but... <laughs> By road, it would not be because I'm looking at the uh, motorways so it's, and it's they cut close across. by American standards, but far away by Welsh standard. Yeah. No, for us, you know, we do that for lunch. Uh, but for them, they'd go over, stay, spend the night yeah. and then spend the next day there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. To, to be fair, we have um, more street roads than them. <laughs> the interstates and stuff. Um, and we can go faster than 20 miles an hour. So, uh, yeah. We go yeah, 80. I know. I know. Legally, legally, we oh, can go Arizona, 80. Oh, in Arizona, is that your limit? Is 80? Uh, nah. But uh, Texas Eight. Texas has 80. Yeah. Washington over, is 70 on uh, their interstate is 70 miles an hour. And uh, Oregon is 65. Or, okay. Yeah. Uh, the Yeah. Basic. Unless you're going through a town, sometimes it's less. But, but yeah. Zipping along. Yep. There's one state that doesn't have a um, speed limit. I can't remember which one it is. Like Montana, maybe. Maybe Sherry knows. No speed limit? That's yeah, some um, Autobahn stuff. I know, right? So cool. Yeah. Well, s- all the people that tuned in to learn about our speed <laughs> limits within uh, uh, the U.S., <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, there, there's how, I know, I know. how you know when you're traveling cross-country in the U.S., the speed limits that may or may not exist. Uh, but <laughs> but yeah, so, so this is going to be... Back to... A, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's the Creston Badge. And moving into looking at the actual match that's coming up, um, this is no disrespect against Pontypridd at all, but they're in last place and they only have one point and they only recently got that draw and that one point and it was versus the last team that we faced, Aberystwyth. And so that that could mean something, right? That could be them putting together some form. Um, I'm not sure if there's players that were injured that have come back or they've acquired new players, but they were able to draw against Aberystwyth. We had a tough match against Aberystwyth and were only able to get one point. And that could have easily been a draw for us as well. So I'm not going to be walking into this thinking that it is going to be an easy thing and that we're going to walk away with another three points. We don't need anybody to get injured. We're moving into that second half of the season. Season, and we're going to be playing with the big dogs. And so we don't need <laughs> to be taking those chances. I I don't know, you know, planning wise, 
if there's going to be resting some of our key players to avoid injury, to make sure that they are okay for the second part of the season. And if we're going to be playing some of the younger people, some of the under 19s Mm. and having having them come in and play, it's a possibility. So this match, you know, could be three points that uh, Pantapreet gets their first victory. You spoke to the depth within the league and the Mm -hmm. cavern, the Marianas Trench (laughs) <laughs> in between the bottom and the top. They're not that low. <laughs> they only but they only have one point. I know. You know, through the, the whole if season. the trench is zero, they're one. <laughs> yeah. I mean there's somewhere where that sub Yeah. I you know what though? I was yeah. thinking about this when I was writing up their breakdown. Um they are number eight, but they are in the Adren premiere. Like they were yeah. promoted yeah. into our um, hour. They were promoted into the the premiere and so even though they might not be doing well right now um you know they got here so they're not all bad they're you know no 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 what i was talking to was about the competitive nature of it of the the team you know the the depth within the league that it it is fairly big between the top and the bottom yeah and the top two teams they do have a more depth in their squad They have a lot more players that can do a lot more things than uh, even at times than what we can keep up with. And we've seen that. We've had that, you know, awaken come to Jesus games where we're like, oh, yeah, this isn't as easy as we thought it was going to be. And, you know, Cardiff and as well Swansea. And so Pontipreth, hopefully there could be, you know, something for them within the upcoming years if the league did expand to 16 or to 12 or to more, definitely that could be an opportunity for them to put together better games, to get more points and to have a better table, not only to have as a sense of pride and accomplishment for yourself, but that learning experience and that sharpening your your knives and your tools. Um, they by no means do I mean any disrespect to them at all. You know, they're I am I assume yeah. every single one of them You're is playing to dig hard. Yourself out of a hole. <laughs> I, well, look. I was in the Marianas Trench. Uh, it wasn't a hole. So I was as low as you could go on the surface of this earth. And I'm just trying to get back you out. You were the but zero no. there. What? Yeah. No, I, yeah. I, if I, um, I think too, like you talk about uh, if there's more competition, more teams and like what that would look like. I, I think too, when, you know, trying to sign a player, um, there's more of a draw, right, to come for another team. It's like, well, your team's not doing very well. And what brings a player to be like, but I want to sign for them. It's like, well, they're in a higher league. And the higher the league you go as a player, the more eyes that are on you. So, you know, even though they're not doing great, the transfer women window for the women is coming up, I think, isn't it? Oh, I don't. I actually don't know. So that would be I, that would be good to know. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I want to say that it is just after the men's. I think it happens during the split when the season splits, but I'm not positive. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So yeah, if somebody so, knows that, let us know for sure. Yep. This is me telling, drop it in. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and we'll throw up the uh, here. We'll throw up the standings of where it is here. One through eight. Um, yeah. Th- this has been a fun season so far. Can't wait to get into the second part of the season and it's going to be us. And I um, don't know if the magic number is within the next game or the following for TNS and Aberystwyth, with, uh, yeah. because there's only four points separating them on the table. And mathematically the swan has not sung. It is not over. <laughs> so there's I mean, still the swan could... sung They're They're right at the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They've they've went but, from. But yeah, there is that real close. And I, I, I thought there was two matches left. I think there. I think is there, there is. Only two? Yeah. I think and so, two more. um, yeah. If they need four points, it's definitely going to come down to that last match. Whether um, uh, Aber with Swift. I kept saying last episode with Smith, and I apologize. Oh, yeah. There is no M in there. Aber with Swift. Uh, I've been practicing. Yeah. yeah. So you, uh, it was like a day Abba late in the episode short. With Smith. With Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept saying with. Yeah. 
yeah, the, yeah the, I, I will the, say the Swedish you are very Swedish disco. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, you you are very influential because each time you said it, and I think you said it differently every time, yeah. if I'm uh, correct, y- you just completely like rewrote my coding in my brain. <laughs> and every single time I was like, yeah, Abby and Smith, of course, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> well, before we take up too much time between yes. everybody that's tuning in. Um, I so, have a breakdown. So yeah, so there's a breakdown of Pantaprith from SJ. So SJ, what do we need to know about Pantaprith? Okay, so here's Pantaprith United's breakdown. Uh, they are number eight on the table out of eight teams. Um, they've played 12 matches. They've won nil, drawn one, and lost 11. Uh, and then as you mentioned, the match that they drew was just their last one against Aberwith Swift. Um, their goal difference is negative 22. They have seven goals for 29 against. Um, and let's see. They last played on. Oh, we last played them on September 24th. Um, and that's Wrexham women. Uh, and then uh, Suckley got a red card in that match. Mm, too. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. So. We still won three nil. That was uh, Lily Jones, Rosie Hughes, and Lightfoot um, that all scored. I forgot to write down when Suckley got her red card, but you know we played 10, 10 women. I think I said we went down to ten men. We went down to ten women, um, and still did pretty good against them. Um, their top scorer, their number sixteen is uh her name is efa first name effa um priest okay. jones and uh she's had 11 goals two of those are in league eight in a cup and one in a trophy um and she's got three assists from uh the cup also um we have number 21 gracie rosvener g-r-o-s-v-e-n-o-r rosvener I always feel bad okay. when I mess up people's names. She's got five goals and five of those were in the cup. Um, one assist. And then uh, Sophie Topper, her number 22. She's got four goals uh, and then three assists. Um, two were in a cup and one in a trophy. Um, so I included those cup and trophy goals, even though I didn't include them with uh, Rexham's because the league goals that they've scored, although they've only scored seven, um, they, they've they got quite a few more than that if you look at their other matches. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I felt like, so um, on November 12th, they played um, the Ab- A-B-E-R-A-M-A-N, Aberen something, ladies and girls. Um, and that was in uh, one of the trophies, and they won 17 nil. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Um, so they've had good winning streaks of their own, um, just not in the league. So, yeah, so those were their top three scorers. Um, their keeper, they have two keepers. Um, Claudia, and then this is, I'm so bad. This is her last name, uh, W-O-J-T-Y-C-Z-K-A. Maybe Wajtjaka. W- yes, that's got to be it. Um, and uh, she has, for um, their keeper, She's uh, her conceded is 2.25. Um, she actually made Team of the Week this last week. Um, oh, nice. And... Yeah, so um, they played. Um, uh oh, I got lost. Hold on. So, Can I, yeah. I want to. I, I want to say something right now. Yeah. And this is this is completely ADHD. Um, I'm a little upset by this. Uh, and I'm gonna link this in. I'm gonna Go call ahead. you out, Pontypridd. Uh, you guys aren't doing your girls right. You ain't doing your women right. You're doing them dirty. What are you talking about? I went to their website so I could see the spelling of the names of these people. Oh yeah. And. Get, so I went to the women's team, which happens to be pontheprithunited.co.uk forward slash copy of men's. Uh, lame. 
Yeah. 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 Give them their own credit. What? Yeah. Oh, that's so uncool. Like, th- there's no controversy right here. Like, fix your page. Like, that's so easy to do. <laughs> that is yeah. so easy to do. Like, you didn't oh, even man. bother in changing the name? <sighs> yeah. That's horrible. That's a, have you gotten your birthday email from Rexum yet? Oh, last year, yeah. 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 And then it says uh, the subject line, I think it says in, uh, insert text here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, my, m- mine, mine was correct. It was correct. Well, no, the, it's just the subject. Line. It says on it, like, happy birthday, Sarah Jane. But um, the, the subject line for the email just says Inter- insert text here. <laughs> uh, so funny. But, so, but hey, I'm not letting this slide. Like, okay. if anybody from Front of Breathe is happens to watch this, checks it out, please contact, like, whoever that odd admin is on your web page, whoever is the web page builder. And just update it. It is so simple to do. Like, mm-hmm. e- email me. I'll update it. It's not coding. <laughs> it's not hard. It's not hard to create that pathway, that tree, and just rename it. It's really basic to do. Like, to leave that as every time you click on the women's game. And I'm sorry. Yeah. I have to mansplain this to the world <laughs> right now. But this, this but it's probably a I man that let... made the website. So. Exactly. 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 <laughs> Exactly. One of our own. One of yeah. our own dropped the ball on this. I'm pretty sure when a, if a woman did it, she would be like, oh, yeah, I'll change this. Yeah. For real. It's just- and you, you know what? Like, I, I think what I'm going to have to do is like the the day before the game or something, I'm going to just yeah. copy, screenshot that, copy it, and then just be like, <laughs> update your page. Update it. Yeah. Put some respect. Like, it doesn't take that much effort. Put some respect out there. These women are are practicing, playing hard, living their lives and trying to do something like put a little bit of effort into it. Like whoever dropped the ball there, like Mm -hmm. you, you obviously built the men's first and then was like, oh yeah, this page will just be a copy of the men's. My rant is done, but I hope (laughs) my point got across. Like, oh God. Loud and clear. Men, let's do better. (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) Jeez. Uh, What's the what's the saying? Um, you can't you can't live with them. Or what's the there's marry like a, a, don't marry them. It's cheaper to stay. Something like. <laughs> no. Uh oh, I pushed a button and my keyboard just went crazy. I'm blaming uh, all no, of the, our tangents the one I'm, on Pontypridd. The it. one I'm thinking of is um, so it's not the actual saying. The actual saying is like you can't live with them and you can't live without them or something. Got to know when to fold them. Yeah. No, but it's, you can't live with them and you can't kill them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's the joke. I don't remember. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to After Dark. Jeez. <laughs> All right. Well, um, are we done? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so moving, moving back to their keeper. Claudia, okay. with the difficult last name, no disrespect intended, she got Team of the Week this last week when they played Cardiff City uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and did okay. Uh, Cardiff City won, but it was 2-1. So, um, I mean, we've seen the challenges that the Wrexham women have playing Cardiff City, uh, and she really made a significant impact on that match and was uh, rewarded by getting in the team of the week. So um, they didn't win, but it was, you know, it was a close match that as you know, all of the other women's teams have seen that uh, Cardiff city bring it and it could have been much worse. So Mm. um, yeah. Uh, Yeah. So, um, and then their other keeper Anna Phelps, um, okay. she she played um, the the funny thing was the last uh, her last match that she played was um, Swansea, and she actually was just picked up by Cardiff City. Cardiff City signed her away from Pontypridd. Oh so, wow! Okay, yeah. Wow. So they they 
Uh, I'm not sure if they're number 25, Claudia. I'm not sure. She was already on the team, so I'm not sure if she was primary before that. But Anna Phelps was uh, playing the cups and stuff, and she made an impact enough. Yes, they Cardiff City picked her up. So, okay. um, yeah. yeah. And, you know, um, with a team that is struggling that much, uh, I feel like, you know, she had to have a lot of talent to be able to catch that kind of attention. So, oh, yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, next on the breakdown, I have discipline um, and uh, their discipline, uh, 53 yellows. Um, plus three reds in the cu- one of the cups and um, four reds overall. Um, Is Rexham that 53 or- yellows this season? Yeah. What? Yeah. In that's a lot. 12 matches. 53 cards in 12 matches for the yeah, league. That's, yeah, that's math. Yeah. Um, that's a lot. Yeah. And then the four math. reds yeah. out of 12 matches. So, and then just a reminder, uh, Wrexham's on 27 yellows. One red, straight red, and uh, one yellow to red. Um, and when I looked at um, Aberwith Swift um, last match, we had like twice of Aberwith Swift. So um, Pontypris is, you know, they're going for it. Uh, <laughs> they may, they uh, may not be doing well, but it's not for a lack of trying. <laughs> they're really no, but it makes doing sense. what they can. It makes sense. Like if you're not winning and maybe like say you're getting beat or something that's going to be absolutely frustrating. And if it seems at like any point in time that like somebody's doing something that's disrespectful where, yeah. you know, you're it's like you didn't need to do that. You didn't you didn't need to go and take that move on me right there. It's like yeah. you start mm-hmm. to lose some of your composure. And it's mm-hmm. like we we all have pride. We all have egos. And sometimes, you know, you hit a breaking point where you're like, like, I don't want to lose anymore, but I also don't want to look like a fool. So, like, I'm going to make that harder challenge. And you might think twice about doing what you just did last time on me. Yeah. And uh, I would say that's very true. However, those yellow cards were spread out against all 12 matches. Uh, here, I don't know if you can mm. see this. Let's see if we can. Oh, I'm not. I'm not looking no. at my screen. I'm looking at you, not my screen. Let's see if we can see this. Do you see the tally marks right here? That was me counting all of their yellow cards, <laughs> the hash mark, all the way across. <laughs> I was like, boop, boop, boop. Oh, oh, this match had nine yellows. This one had wow. like 11. I think one of their matches, they got a yellow, 11 yellow cards. I was like, wow. that's like one for every player. Oh, that's man. insane. Yeah. So they're handsy. They're handsy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Um, yeah. So I don't have uh, any little facts on uh, Pontiprid, um, Prith, Pontiprith United. Uh, when I tried to find information about the women's team, this may back up what you found, is that I could only find information on the men's team when I mm. was looking into Pontiprith United. Every time I was like, Pontiprith United women, and I would click on it and it was like, and the men's team. Like, I don't care about them. Oh, and then the men's team. And I'm like, do you have any information on the women's team? No information on the women's team. So unfortunately, I don't have a little bit on them, except for they're, they, they're collecting yellow cards. Like they're going yeah. out of style. Yeah. What did, what did you say? Like 52 card pickup or something like that. That was like one of the things. Like, 53 card pickup. They got yeah, the jokers yeah, yeah. in there too. Well, I mean, like the, they are still playing. They're still playing in the league. So definite respect to everybody that's given their all. Uh, every one that we butchered their names. Um, yeah. Fion, I believe, is one of the names you were approaching L-L. to say before. Um, there was Fion. And then what was the other one? Uh, Gracie Grosvenor. Oh. Oh, uh, are you EFA, EFA? Was that the one oh, you were talking about? Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were make, just making fun of me and I was like, Cal L, like Superman. You're like, oh no, like an actual name you butchered. Uh, yeah. it's. I feel like I've lost SJ. SJ, you are frozen on my end. You may not be froze, but you are frozen on my end. Oh, nope. I did get your message. SJ is frozen. Okay. Well, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you for staying with us throughout the the duration, making it this far. I'll come up with the ice 
emoji if you made it all the way to the end so you could be frozen like SJ. Go ahead and throw that ice emoji down there. Let us know that you made it all the way through. I had a good time even though I derailed SJ. Since she's not here, we'll go ahead and say some of the things that we wanted to say, but we we're too scared because she was around. Um, SJ, you're a bully. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, I got nothing. Um, but anyways, have a good night. Have a good day. Hopefully we'll see everybody online on Sunday supporting Rex and Women, closing out the first half of the season in fashion. And like we always say, up the town. I get she's not coming back on, is she? Okay. <laughs>